Hey guys, it's Nana, and today I wanted to talk to you about the books that I read in June. So I finished two books in June. Not super productive in terms of reading, but I am in the middle of a third one, and hopefully July will be a better reading month. Um, but anyway, let's get into the books that I read in June. So the first book I read was The Knockoff by Lucy Sykes and Joe Piazza. That book is set in the fashion world. Imogen is the editor-in-chief of a women's magazine called Glossy. And when the book begins, she's had to take a leave of absence because she had cancer. And right when the book starts, she's just getting back to work. And in the months that she's been away, pretty much everything has changed at work. Her magazine's been totally restructured. And actually, her former assistant Eve is like the new managing digital editor and is kind of gunning for her job. So Imogen knows nothing about like the internet and social media and any of that and so when she comes back she's totally discombobulated and she has to either adapt or you know be pushed to the background like a lot of the other employees are. Overall I thought this was good. Uh, it wasn't amazing, it didn't blow me away, but I did enjoy it. Like I mentioned, it's set in the world of fashion and in particular fashion magazines and I just love that aspect of it. I've always been interested in fashion and love magazines, so anything set in that world is going to be super interesting to me. I loved hearing about what the characters are wearing and Imogen as an editor-in-chief is friends with a lot of designers who are actual people in real life, so it's just cool to see that stuff that I follow in real life in this book. And I think one of, I heard one of the characters is based off Eva Chen, who is the former editor of Lucky Magazine, and who I just think is so cool. Anyway, I digress, but I just love all the fashion bits of it. So Eve was Imogen's former assistant, but when she comes back from her leave of absence, she's been promoted to a much higher role. She's gone to business school in the interim and come back, and she wants to do all of these things to take the magazine into the digital age. So there's a lot of discussion of, you know, Millennials, social media, digitizing, the future of magazines, all things that are very relevant and of the moment. So I appreciated that stuff. So I had a few issues. One of them, I felt the characters were a bit underdeveloped. Imogen was okay, but Eve especially, I just felt like kind of her main characteristic was that she was ambitious. It was hard to completely understand the motivations behind her actions. Most of it is told from Imogen's perspective, but there are a few chapters from other people's perspectives, including Eve, and even those didn't really give much insight into her character, so I could have used a little bit more there. Also, it's set in the present time, and I found it a bit hard to believe that Imogen, as the editor-in-chief, knew absolutely nothing about social media. like. Not a thing. I feel like in the year 2015, she would have been exposed to it by now and would at least know a little something. Overall, I thought this was good. Love the setting, love, love this peek into the fashion world and the world of magazines. And yeah, I gave it three out of five stars. The second book I finished in June was part of a read-along and that was The Buried Pyramid by Jane Linsgold. This was a read-along hosted by Katie and I thought the book sounded interesting and I wanted to join in on the fun. So The Buried Pyramid is about a group of explorers, let's say, who are on the hunt for an ancient Egyptian tomb. There's Neville, who's an archaeologist, and then his niece, Jenny, who's American and grew up on the frontier, so she's got skills and she's a bit sassy, which I love. Then there's also Stephen, who is a scholar, and also there's Eddie, who's a soldier that Neville knew when he was serving in the army. So the group of these people together go into the Egyptian desert to search for this tomb. And the backstory is that Neville had once went on a previous expedition for this tomb, and it's very rare, no one really knows about it, and they're not even sure that the stories that they've heard are true, but he didn't succeed in the previous expedition for various reasons, so it's a, kind of always haunted him, and he really wanted to go out again on this hunt and find the missing tomb. So this group of people traveled to Egypt together and they're kind of keeping all of their plans hush-hush. One, because they've been getting cryptic notes from people who don't want them looking for the tomb and disturbing it. And two, 
because it's possible that another archaeologist might hear about it and want to scoop on his discovery. So there's adventure, there's an exotic setting, and those bits are really fun. It started out a little bit slow for me, but then it picked up and I was really into the adventure, and in particular I love the character of Jenny. She's sassy and she knows how to handle herself. She's skilled with guns. So then it was going along and it was it was really interesting. And then for me it took a kind of unexpected turn in the last third of it, which I did not enjoy as much. The author throws in a lot of details in history, but in some ways I felt that it got confusing. And in the last third it got a bit philosophical and I was kind of like, hmm. It was a bit up and down for me, but the adventure bits were really great and really fun and really interesting. And I liked the way that the cast of characters interacted. And then there were parts that I felt were a bit confusing and lagged a bit and kind of didn't quite make sense. But overall, I thought it was good and I get also gave this 3 out of 5 stars. That's it! That's all I read in June. I've been totally distracted the last couple of weeks with like life stuff, but my one year booktube anniversary was on the 24th, so yay! I've been doing booktube for one year, which is crazy when you think about it. Yeah, just thank you for coming along with me on this journey and watching my videos and commenting and subscribing and all of the awesome stuff you guys do. I really appreciate it. Do tell me about the books that you read in June down below in the comments, or tell me about the books that you want to read in July. And if you want to talk to me elsewhere, I'm on Twitter, Goodreads, Instagram, Snapchat. I'll leave all my links down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!